Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Dell Alienware M16R1. And today we're going to reinstall Windows 11 in it. So I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot. So this is the traditional BIOS page for Alienware. And we do have Windows 11 bootable thumb drive. You need to create one if you don't have how to create you can check the video link would be in the description so first of all make sure your charger is connected and we're going to plug into any usb port once it's securely connected then what are you going to do we're going to switch it off completely or you can connect the usb stick while your laptop is switched off so you're going to press the power button again and keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS. Dell always kept it default F2 for BIOS. As you can see, it's getting into it. And now here is the main page. So from here, we need to change only a couple of settings. But by default for this machine, this is always by default in UEFI environment. So if you would like to install in EUFI, that's fine. If you want legacy, you have to change the settings. So this is the boot configuration that you can see the first option, how I set it up. This is by default anyway. Just have a look. So here is nothing we need to change, to be honest. Secure boot is on. On security TPM, as you can see, this is enable Intel ITPM. This is enable, as you can see, it has to be by like that. Here is another settings which is very important. We need to type VMD. And when you type VMD, it's going to give us the settings. And we have to change from Radon to NBME. All right. And once we're done that, we're going to save those changes. And we're going to exit it. When you exit, it's going to restart. At this point, we're going to keep pressing F2 to get into temporary boot option might take some time and from here I'm going to select my bootable Windows 11 thumb drive now it's going to load up from this bootable USB you're going to see the Windows setup page and then there are some Terms and condition, language setup and other stuff that we're going to select and then go forward and that should be done. So technically, technically we um, we change nothing by default. We just changed one settings, which is VMD from Radon to NVMe. And then ex saved it, exit it, and pretty much that's all. So I'm going to choose which one I want. I want 11 Pro, accept the terms and condition. Next, fresh installation. At this point, be careful. If you have any existing data, please don't format or delete any partition. If you do, then you're going to lose everything. So bear in mind, make sure you get everything backed up. At this point, I have two SSD in there. One, one TB. Another one is 256, I believe. So I'm going to format every single text just to freshly install the Windows 11. Okay. And I'm going to hit next and then it's going to load up every single thing. It might take 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes because the system is quite fast. Then everything should be fine, by the way. After installing Windows, we need to update all the drivers because by default, the drivers shouldn't be up to date. 
So this is the first thing after Windows installation. And we might have some experience with Wi-Fi connectivity difficulties because by default, sometimes the Wi-Fi driver doesn't get up to date it. So at that point, we might have to have some sort of wire network connection or manually, we need to download all the drivers from another donor laptop and put it into the USB and install it, okay? But that's gonna to come to my separate video. Hopefully you would enjoy. Let's see how it goes. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.